the winning sequence for white in this game is absolutely gorgeous. So it looks like a fairly normal position for black, but a lot of their pieces are offside, so the king is quite vulnerable. So can you see the winning move here? First move is queen f3, hitting the soft pawn on f7. In the game, black guarded it by playing rook f8, but white overcame this by sacrificing the rook. After takes, we check, and a couple moves later, white won pretty easily. So what's so beautiful about this position though? Well, black could have defended better, and our attack could have been really, really pretty. So the first defense is rook 8 c7. How do we overcome this? Well, we use the drawback. They left the 8th rank undefended, so we check. Now if they block, we bring the other rook in the game, threatening check here. Black's only defense is rook c7, creating this funny little rook standoff. Now don't be flabbergasted. All we gotta do is play rook takes c8, removing the rook from blocking, and now this is checkmate. So, black defense like this doesn't work. What if black defended with the other rook in the first place? This is the final boss. Can you see the move for white here that wins? It's an invisible move. White's winning move is rook c1, creating what's known as a cross pin. If this rook takes this rook, it's checkmate. If they do nothing, we can take and go for a back rank. And if they take like this, we'll see what happens. I check, king goes here, queen d3 check, block, and we come back. The infiltration is complete, and white wins.